Jam. Put a nigga back to the whack and baby and give it a little slap. What is up guys, so I thought I'd do a video today talking about a game that was recently revealed um, one or two weeks ago now, um, a game called Hatred. Now you may have heard a lot on the internet about this because it's caused a lot of controversy because of what the game is and what we see in this trailer. Um, so I thought I'd get my thoughts out there and let you know what I'm thinking about this game. Um, but basically if you haven't seen it, literally all we see in this trailer is, is a really sort of dark, menacing, gothic type guy. Um, kind of describing his hatred for, for life itself and people and everything he's surrounded by and how his ultimate goal is to just cause mass genocide and kill everyone he sees um, and then that cutscene kind of switches up into gameplay and literally the gameplay is slaying every human you could possibly see in the most violent way using all sorts of different types of weapons, explosions everything all these humans are just running for their lives begging for mercy and you're just like point blank headshots um, it looks insane it looks crazy um, and for them to have actually spent money and time making a game which is going to be so controversial I believe is too much of a risk and I don't know if that risk is going to pay off I can either see this game um, being banned or well, either being banned, not coming out, or just being drastically changed, so it's not going to be that type of game by the time we see, so by the time we see it release, which is um, about midway through next year, I do believe. Um, but for me personally, I don't agree with it. I don't think the game should be coming out, and that's not because I believe I'm all into this kind of image that oh, children playing this game are going to become mass murderers. Uh, obviously letting young kids play this game isn't going to help with them, that isn't going to kind of influence them in a good way at all but at the same time I don't think that logic works that if kids play this game uh, murdering mass ma masses amount of people I don't think that automatically means they're going to become some deranged killer when they grow up does that mean when I play Uncharted I'm going to become an adventurer and go sail the seas looking for ancient treasure uh, what does it mean if I play Minecraft I'm going to become an architect and start building everything? No, it's a video game and video games should remain as that, an escapism, as, like something to escape your own life. Um, but to escape your own life and virtually slay hundreds and hundreds of inno innocent civilians I don't believe is going to be a good game. I don't. Moving all that aside, all the kind of controversial stuff part of it aside Honestly, I don't think so far. I, I can't see the appeal of the game anyway. What, what, what do we do? Do we walk around the streets slaying as many defensive, uh, defenseless humans as we can? Is there no enemy? Is there nothing fighting back in this game? Is it literally a, a kind of rack up as much kills as you can in an in amount of time? I think, judging by what we've seen, the game could get very boring very quickly. So I am intrigued to see more about it. Um, and surely there's going to be some sort of monster type of threat that this character is going to come under. Surely it's not a game of just murdering civilians, it's not like a mass genocide simulator. Um, but just reading through the comments of, on, the, on, the, uh, on the trailer on YouTube here, literally it's like, a, it's like an 80% to 20%, 80% people hate the idea of the game, think it's too controversial, 20% of people are like, yeah, I'll give it a play. Um, I don't know, I think it's just going to cause too much of a storm in the media, even games like back in the day when we had Manhunt come out on the PS2 um, and that actually got banned because I think there was an incident where a child killed someone um, re like very closely after playing Manhunt which led to Manhunt being banned and of course Manhunt 2 came out and they had to censor that game as well because of its kind of strong violence but Nowadays, there doesn't really seem to be that that kind of ban that happens on games anymore. I think if you play something like The Evil Within, um, I've, I haven't seen gore and kind of crazy murdered, murders on any game like I have on The Evil Within. Um, 
And also don't forget GTA. I know people are saying, well, you kill people innocently on Grand Theft Auto, why does that make a difference on this game? No, in Grand Theft Auto there's a storyline and you don't have to kill these innocent civilians. That's not the point of the game. The point of the game is to live a life um, and if you choose to kill people on GTA, that's your choice. You're not supposed to be kind of influenced to kill people and you're not supposed to be rewarded and uh, game progression by killing innocent civilians because in my opinion that's too much of a controversial game that just isn't going to work in my opinion I'm um, just having a glance at the comments here people saying just how much of a bad idea it is the developer of this game is digging himself into it into their own grave the media are gonna hate this which is very true it's got 200 likes on that comment alone um, so I think people feel the sort of same way that I, th I don't think they should have wasted the time making a game that is going to be so controversial because it's under threat too much of being banned or drastically changed and not coming out as the game the developer intended it to be. Um, I don't know, I don't think it's going to work. Someone's put, I like GTA, Resident Evil, Outlast and others but this is very violent for no reason and I don't like it. I disagree when they say that GTA is going to make you kill everybody but hatred is really going to uh, influence kids to do bad things. Um, so yeah, G basically GTA you don't have that, you don't have to do these things and it, there is a story that you have to focus on whereas hatred literally is focused on mass murder. So I don't know, we'll have to see where this leads because obviously the, the backlash this game has had that they're going to have to do something to this game, either change it or show us a bit more, show us that this game isn't just intended for that reason. Um, but who knows, we'll see what happens closer to the time. Let me know your thoughts on this game down below, I'm really interested to see what people are thinking about this. Um, and yeah, so that's about it for this video guys, so thanks for checking my video out, and yeah, thanks for sticking by, and another video will be up very soon. So I'll see you then, thanks for watching.